In these days of hypervigilance over race, it's vitally important to not look racist. Thankfully, the ADL have produced a list of racist words, numbers and symbols, so you know what to avoid accidentally sticking in a work email so some Karen in HR gets vicariously offended and destroys your life. They've handily made a list of white supremacist hate symbols so you know what to avoid saying and doing. The following numbers are racist. 1 to 11, 12, 13, 14, 18, 23, 28, 38, 43, 83, 88 and 737. Good luck picking non-racist lottery numbers. 43 is racist because it's used by the racist group SWA. If one substitutes numbers for the letters in SWA's initials, 19, 23 and 1, then adds those numbers together, the total is 43. Man, this is like the Da Vinci Code. Some numbers are racist when they're combined, such as 13 and 52, which are used by white supremacists to signify the relative proportion of the US population that's African American, 13%, and the proportion of violent crime they commit, 52%. It's a true statistic, but sometimes facts are racist unless you ignore them. ACAB, which stands for All Cops Are Bastards, is racist, which will come as a shock to all the BLM protesters who use it. Various hand signs are racist, proving that all rappers are white supremacist. This hand sign is racist, so be very careful when you're picking fluff out of your belly button. The Celtic Cross is racist. You get these all over Scotland and they date from medieval times because everyone in Scotland was a racist before they even knew that there were other races. That's how racist Scotland is. The Confederate flag is a common white supremacist symbol, so anyone who watched the Dukes of Hazzard as a child is a Nazi. The Coors logo is white supremacist apparently. It's an acronym for Comrades of a Racial Struggle. I'd have thought Nazis would choose a less pissy beer, maybe a German Pilsner. German phrases is on the list. Not a specific German phrase. According to the ADL, any German phrase is racist, which makes it very difficult to order a coffee in Munich without committing a hate crime. The phrase, it's okay to be white, is racist according to the ADL who presumably think it's not okay. They say that the phrase, it's okay to be white, is a slogan popularised in late 2017 as a trolling campaign by members of the controversial discussion forum 4chan. The original idea behind the campaign was to choose an ostensibly innocuous and inoffensive slogan, put that slogan on flyers bereft of any other words or imagery, then place the flyers in public locations. Originators assumed that the liberals would react negatively to such flyers and condemn them or take them down, thus proving that liberals did not think that it was okay to be white. But I'm sure liberals would never fall into that trap, for example by putting it in a list of ADL hate symbols. Interestingly, it's totally not racist at all to say abolish whiteness. That's a name that's celebrated in mainstream media and taught in universities. This black cross is racist, so be very careful how you fill in multiple choice questionnaires. Doesn't matter what the instructions say, use a blue pen and tick the box. This shape is racist, so be careful when drawing birds' feet. This symbol is racist. Does it look familiar? It's the SNP logo, who are of course racist against English people. Although I think it would be difficult for Nicola Sturgeon to claim to be part of a master race. The not equal symbol is racist because it's used by white supremacists to suggest that not all races are equal. When we all know that all races are identical, although somehow also diverse and have differences that we must celebrate even though we're identical. This cross is racist, so be careful when making waffles or playing knots and cross especially if you do the cross with a black pen you bigot. The OK hand gesture is racist. The feminist Kelly J. Keen was accused of using it in this interview. I tell you what Chris, using a hand signal linked to white supremacists which we've chosen to blur. Revoke my visa. At your peril. I mean it looks like a woman playing with her zip to me but if I was an expert in this stuff I'd be working for the ADL. The ADL say in 2017, the OK hand gesture acquired a new and different significance thanks to a hoax by members of the website 4chan to falsely promote the gesture as a hate symbol, claiming that the gesture represented the letters WP for white power. The OK gesture hoax was merely the latest in a series of similar 4chan hoaxes using various innocuous symbols. In each case, the hoaxers hoped that the media and liberals would overreact by condemning a common image as white supremacist. Well. I'm sure that would never happen. Rock against communism is anti-semitic apparently. The ADL might want to brush up on the history of communism before picking a side in this one. Anything that sounds like an 80s heavy metal band from Birmingham is racist, so sadistic souls, Saxon knights, there's loads more. 
Thor's hammer is racist, no more Avengers for you, the pointy up arrow is racist, so prize it off your keyboard right now. This list is 100% correct by the way. Oh wait, I can't say that, 100% is a white supremacist term. I believe in free speech, I don't like the idea of pressure groups with sometimes pretty toxic agendas deciding who is and who isn't allowed a voice. The ADL are racist and their main researcher looks like he lives under a bridge in Lord of the Rings. Anyway, thanks for listening, I'm doing a video soon about ESG and how it's ruining everything for everyone, so to see that ray of joy, please like and subscribe and if you want to see it earlier and support me making these videos, please consider becoming a Patreon, it's this great thing where you give me the same amount of money as a Netflix subscription and get far, far less. Anyway, thanks for listening, I've been Leo Kearse, bye, 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 bye.